Hey everyone, it's Erica from Moonlight Book Reviews. This is my first vlog, a video vlog, and I'm really excited about it. So let's talk about the books I got this week for in my mailbox. From the library, I signed up for the teen reading program, and you have to read 500 pages for each chart that you get. And I'm on my first chart, but I figured out that I could read 500 pages really fast. Who would have known that a book blogger could? But I did, but I had to take it in, and then I get a prize for each chart I complete. But when I was at the library also, I received this snazzy bookmark. It's called Making Waves. It's what our theme is this year for the team program. And I got this cool pencil, which I'm really excited to use. I don't hear that a lot about people. It's purple, but when I like put my hands on it, it turns pink. I hope you can see that. It's really cool. The book I got from the library is Fairy Wars by Herbie Brennan. It looks really good. I'm really excited to read it. I actually hope I get to read it because I'm leaving Thursday and I need to turn it back into the library. So if I don't get it, read it this time, then I'll have to get it again. And then we'll do it again in my mailbox. But I got it because I'm into the love fairy thing because I read The Iron King by Julie Kagawa and her mini sequel like book 1.5 called Winter's Passage. And I really like those books because they're expertly written and I really like how she writes the characters. Megan Ash and Puck and the Queen Mab and King Oberon. I really like that. And I'm really excited about The Iron Daughter coming out, and I can hardly contain myself. It is me containing myself about those books. But I'm really excited about it, so in, when it comes out in August, you'll know what I'll be doing. I'll be picking that book up and reading it, like the first one. Okay, so what I got for contest this week, because I'm going to be doing a contest because I feel really bad because I'm going to be gone for 17 days to England because I'm doing an exchange program. So I'm going to be doing like a London Calling contest, I think that's what I'm going to call it, so look for the post. But I got a few books that I'm thinking of putting in it. And the first one is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is the first one in the series. And then I got the second one called Frostbite, and also by Rochelle Mead. And there are books one and two in the series, and the series is really good. I haven't read the last few books because I haven't had the opportunity to, but I'm... I think they're really good. I've heard a lot of good things about them. I know these two are really good, so you'll have to look forward to that one. Um, I also have a book that I didn't get this week. I got earlier, but it's also by Allie Carter, and this one's by Allie Carter. It's called Cross My Heart in Hopes to Spy. It's in her Gallagher Girl series, and I really want to read it. I'm really It's not that big, so I should finish it pretty fast. But it looks really good, but I haven't decided if I'm going to put these books in my contest yet. So you'll have to see, and it will be a surprise. Okay, so what I got from the store. Our little Barnes & Noble in Holland does not have a lot of manga in it. And I really like manga, but you guys probably don't know that much, this part of me, because on my About Me post, I say I'm going to review paranormal or YA literature. And I don't talk about manga or anime, but I really like that. And I have a couple series that I like a lot. So I got Blackbird number four. Books one, two, and three were really good. If you like Vampire Night and me and my brothers, you will really like this one. Um, I'm not going to say the author because her name is Japanese. And the last few times I've gone through this, I have completely butchered it. And I feel really bad about that. So I will type it in my post like normal, but I don't want to say it because maybe you can read it, but it's, yeah. So let's move on. I also got this week Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. It's been out for a while, and if you read it, you're probably looking forward to Crescendo. I'm writing a review of it right now. I read it, and I like it a lot. I'm kind of having a hard time putting in words how to describe it in my review. So, hopefully I can get it done tonight, I'm hoping. So, but it was really good. Patch was a really nice character. I'm not quite sure what to think of him, but I liked it. Um, I also got uh, Angel Star by Jennifer Mergia. Uh, I heard a lot about this one because I'm a fan of hers on Twitter and Goodreads. 
and it looks really good. It's about angels, like the title says, and I'm really looking forward to it because I liked Fallen a lot, and I liked Hush Hush, and I like the whole angel thing right now, and I'm kind of getting into it, so I hope it's good. I'll do a review of that one as well. And last but not least, I got a book that... If you've been following my blog for a while, in my What I Want post, or in my Desired Books post, it's a book that came out June 8th, and it's called Raised by Wolves, and it's by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and it's really good, and I got it because I was really excited about it after I looked at a summary of it, and it looks really good. It's about a girl who was adopted by this clan of werewolves, and she wants to know what this clan is about, but, so she meets a guy and I'm not sure what goes on from there so we will have to see what goes on from there and I will put it up in a review I will hopefully get to all this before Thursday and if I do not post a lot after Thursday I'm really sorry really 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 sorry but I want to know what you guys got this week and I'm hoping you guys are gonna have a nice week and if I don't hear from you guys soon I will see you sometime in July Thank you. This is Erica's, my first in my mailbox post, and I've done this a lot already today, so hopefully this is the last one.